In this video, we're going to have a look at how to import data into AutoCAD Civil 3D via the Autodesk Geotechnical module. So the formats available for importing into the Autodesk Geotechnical module. You can import AGS 3.1 and 4, we'll have a quick look at that in a moment. You can import CSV data, which we'll be looking at in more detail. And you can also connect through to Hove SSI and bring data directly through. AGS 3.1 and 4 are developed by the Association of Geotechnical and Geoenvironmental Specialists in the UK. The format's been around for 20 odd years now, but it's been used more and more throughout the world. Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Hong Kong, and it's actually being used, as I say, in more and more countries all the while. This, you can see on the screen now, is an example of AGS 4. It's a CSV uh, file, but as you can see, it's formatted in a very much particular way. It can be generated by software such as Kinetics KAGS, Holbase SI, and I believe there is a bonjour for Jint as well. So we now move on to CSV files. We can import, well, you need to have two files, locations and geology. As the name implies, the location CSV file stores the locations or of the borings or boreholes. The data here, the format of it is important. You need to have the same headings as we have here. The first six, location ID, location type, eastern, northern, ground level and final depth are all mandatory. It means you need all this information. Orientation and inclination are optional. You don't necessarily need that information to be pulled through. Now, it's important that you have it in this format. Each location should have its own record uh, with both ground level and final depth entered into it. The actual location type is really arbitrary. You can use put anything you want in there. We now come on to the second file, which is our geology CSV file. And as the name suggests, we store in here the actual geology the, down the hole. So for each hole location, there will be multiple records of the geology with the depth top and depth base of each geology. In fact, we have here two possibilities, legend code and geology codes. You can put really any banding description on their color whatever you want and when the data gets imported it will actually convert that into for surfaces into the minimum maximum doubt finds at any particular boring location to actually create the top and base surfaces from that data so let's see it in action let's open up a new drawing in AutoCAD Civil 3D now the first thing we have to do before we do anything is actually go and save the drawing. So I'm going to go up here now, hit the save button. Let's just give this a quick name. Let's call it uh, import example. And now I'm ready to hit the import button. So the import dialog, and you see the top thing is file type. We have our AGS formats and we have our CSV so here are the two locations so we can call the actual files anything we want but we need one with the location data as we saw before and we need the second file with our geology information in the final thing we need to do depending on where we are is is it really a CSV file or are you using tabs, semicolons some places people can't use CSV because the comma is used as a divider in numbers now we're importing the data now validating the data and all we have to do here is look we got 28 boreholes coming in so when we're ready with that in comes the data and there's the data imported we can quickly look at this data we can now start visualizing that data that's been imported from our CSV files we can start creating surfaces we can start modeling the data so in a matter of a few seconds we've managed to import our CSV data and get it ready to work inside AutoCAD Civil 3D 2015